I'm Annika and welcome to Animal Watch. <laughs> and this episode I'll be sharing with you my top 10 facts about wolves. <laughs> Fact number one, the wolves bite. The wolf has very strong jaws. The jaws of a wolf have a crushing pressure of around 1,500 pounds per square inch, compared to 750 pounds per square inch for a German Shepherd. The wolf has 42 teeth. The wolf's front teeth, the incisors and canines, are used for puncturing, slashing and clinging. The pointed premolars and molars are used for tearing and shearing. The carnasial teeth, an upper premolar and lower molar, are designed to shear tendons and connective tissue, while the back teeth are useful for cracking bone. The wolf's canine teeth interlock so that the wolf can hang on to struggling prey. Fact number two, the wolf's genetic origins. Did you know that dogs are not descended from the modern day grey wolf, but an extinct species of wolf which roamed the world around 30,000 years ago? This happens several times according to varying opinions and is covered in my other film, How Dogs Came From Wolves. Both the dog and grey wolf split off from these extinct wolves, so although people claim the dog is directly descended from the modern day grey wolf, in fact it isn't. But it is descended from wolves, just an extinct line which does not exist anymore. It has been suggested that some modern day dog breeds do contain grey wolf, and this is certainly plausible, as matings could have occurred with Nordic breeds over time. But in order to gain an exact content, a DNA test would be needed. Of course, all wolf dogs do contain grey wolf content. Fact number three, do they really kill people? Wolves do not hunt and kill people as folklore suggests, but this doesn't mean they haven't killed over history. Folklore really blackens the reputation of the timid and beautiful wolf by constantly casting him as the bad guy in poems, fairy tales and folklore. But this is the opposite of the truth. The wolf is extremely timid and people will be stretched to ever catch a glimpse of one. They do not chase people like in the film The Grey and do not stalk people in packs. However, they are not free of blame and over time there have been fatalities at the hands of wolves. Rabid wolves have been known to enter towns and villages in the past and bite people, but rabies makes animals brave and delusional. There are many incidences of rabid bites which have resulted in the death of the victim. Also, there have been some incidences of wolf keeper deaths in wolf parks. This is because wolves that are habituated to humans are more likely to challenge them. And the deaths which have been recorded have not been because the wolf wants to eat the person, but often because a mistake has been made by the wolf handler and often has involved the handling of food around the wolves. Fact number four, were wolves always timid? Wolves probably weren't always so timid. We know that wolves are extremely timid in the 21st century, and as the previous facts stated, we will be hard pressed to find a wolf sidling up to us. However, this was probably not the case in the past. Once the world was covered in thick woodland and forests, and it covered a huge amount of the planet, this is perfect wolves domain, and wolves roamed everywhere. Before humans killed wolves, wolves most probably did not fear us and would most likely have seen small children foraging in the forests as fair game. Since the gun was invented and wolves have been killed in their millions, selective breeding most probably has happened unintentionally, as the bravest and most confrontational of wolves would have been the first to be killed. 
leaving the more timid and quiet temperaments left. As in the breeding for temperament in dogs, it is most probable that the same has happened to the wolf. This is best observed in northern Canada, where the wolves barely see humans and have existed without persecution for many years. Here the wolves are brave and will come and greet biologists when they land in their helicopters. Fact number five, wolves' eyes. Why do wolves have yellow eyes? Well, in fact, not all wolves do. The colours range from yellow to amber, light brown to even dark brown. If you see the odd blue eye in a wolf, this will always mean that there's been dog-wolf hybridisation, as blue eyes are not a wolf trait. The wolf has excellent peripheral vision due to his eyes being placed slightly to the side of his skull. He also has superior night vision. The outer perimeter of the wolf's retina is highly sensitive to movement. However, a wolf's eyes lack a foveal pit that allows for sharp focusing at long distances. Wolves and people have very different colour vision. We and many other primates have three colour vision. That is, we have three colour sensitive receptors in our eyes called cone cells, roughly blue, green and yellow. Wolves have only two such colour receptors. The range of hues wolves can discriminate is much reduced compared to us. Detailed studies of the wolf's ability to sense motion have shown that they can detect motion considerably better than we can, especially in good light conditions. One could say wolves see the world faster than we do. Wolves are born with blue eyes, but this doesn't last and will mellow down into amber tones as they get older. Fact number six, reproduction. Wolves can only breed once a year. Unlike dogs who come into season several times a year and can produce loads of puppies, a wolf will only come into heat in the late autumn. She will be mated and will produce puppies or cubs in the spring in order to guarantee their greatest survival. Despite this, there is still a 50% mortality in wolf pups. The female will dig a deep den and give birth in there. This is the only time wolves live in dens. The rest of the time they sleep on the ground. The rest of the pack will bring food to her for the duration of the time she is with the pups in the den. The wolf pack will regurgitate soft chewed food for the pups when the pups lick their mouths and bring solid meat for the mum. Astounding that these same pups will be hunting with the rest of the pack by the time they're seven months old. Fact number seven, the alpha controversy. What is an alpha? In the past, people have assumed the alpha wolf was the most dominant wolf and had to fight to take his or her position at the top of the pack. This is not the case, and it comes down to a simple family hierarchy not dissimilar to humans. The main breeding pair is usually the natural mum and dad of the pack, and the subordinates are usually their children or brothers or sisters. When the youngsters get to breeding age, they will often disperse and create their own packs. If one of the main breeding pair is killed, then the replacement will be chosen by the remaining alpha. Wolves rarely live above five years old in the wild due to many factors including disease, fighting or being hunted, which means they don't ever get too old to stop breeding. Captive wolves will often have the worst pack fights than in wild packs as they are trapped and are not allowed to naturally disperse if needed. Also, captive wolves are often spayed or some are partially spayed, causing confusion and upset when no puppies appear. This will again cause wolves to try and assume new breeding statuses, meaning unnatural alphas will appear after sometimes fatal fighting. Fact number eight, hunting wolves. The only true enemy of the wolf is man. Studies in Canada, Italy and the United States show that 60 to 90% of wolf mortality has been through human causes. It is estimated that 2 million wolves were killed in the USA between 1850 and 1910. The wolf was extinct across most of Europe by 1900. The last wolf in Denmark was killed in 1772. Scotland's last wolf was killed in 1848. 
Wolves survived in Poland, Romania, the former Yugoslavia, northern Greece, northern Spain and the mountainous central region of Italy. A few wolves have recently returned to Scandinavia, France and Germany. Wolves can be found in Turkey, Iran, Israel, where they are fully protected, Saudi Arabia, India, Mongolia, China and Russia. There are 60,000 wolves in Canada, though they are no longer found in New Brunswick, Newfoundland or Nova Scotia. There are between 7,000 to 12,000 wolves in Alaska, where they are still hunted except in parks and reserves. There are approximately 6,000 wolves left in the USA, not including Alaska, but this fluctuates due to control and hunting. Fact number nine, the wolves hearing and smell. A wolf's long nose holds the key to its incredible sense of smell. Wolves have a sense of smell about 100 times greater than humans, and they use this keen sense while hunting. Compared to domestic dogs, most wild wolves have an even higher level of scent recognition. In a wolf, the part of the nose that is receptive to smell is nearly 14 times greater than a human nose. Wolves can smell up to 1.75 miles away. Scientists think that wolves may be able to tell the age and gender of other wolves by using their scents. They can also avoid other predators or enemies by using this detection system. Next to smell, the sense of hearing is the most acute of the wolf's senses. The grey wolf's hearing is at least 16 times better than a human's. Wolves can hear as far as six miles away in the forest and 10 miles in the open. Wolves can hear well up to a frequency of 25 kilohertz. Some researchers believe that the actual maximum frequency detected by wolves is actually much higher, perhaps up to 80 kilohertz. The upper auditory limit for humans is only 20 kilohertz. Also, according to some naturalists, wolves hearing is greater than that of the dog. And fact number 10, just how fast is a wolf? Wolves walk, trot, lope or gallop. Their legs are long, their chests are narrow and they walk at about 4 miles per hour, which is about 6.4 kilometres per hour, but can also reach speeds of up to 35 miles per hour during a chase. Their usual mode of travel is to trot, which they do at various speeds, generally between 8 to 10 miles per hour, which is about 12.8 to 16 kilometres per hour. Wolves do not run at full speed until they get as close as possible to their prey. At that point, they make a high-speed chase to test the animal. Wolves can keep up this pace for hours on end and have been known to cover 60 miles, 96 kilometres in a single night. They have been clocked at speeds at over 40 miles per hour for a distance of several miles. I hope you enjoyed my top 10 wolf facts. If you loved this video then give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and remember to pop back every week <laughs> where I will be giving you some amazing films on wolves, facts, wildlife and conservation. Bye for now!